Hello everyone, my name is The Humble Gamer and welcome back to Banjo-Tooie. Ta, 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 bye bye, it's over now, the episode's over, it's, it's come and gone, bye bye. Nah, hello everyone, it's me again, uh, back on Banjo-Tooie, um, and... We're still in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, of course, because, uh, well, I'm, uh, there's nowhere else to go. I'm, I'm doing this game in a particular way, and we have to stay here. Um, now, you might be wondering, why am I walking back to Jolly Rogers Bar right now? Um, aren't I supposed to be going underwater like I said I would last episode, or at the end of last episode? Well, uh, well, well yeah, we're going to go underwater in this episode. However, we have a couple things quickly to just look at. First is this. This is the menu in Jolly Rogers Lagoon, uh, so you can see today's special is, or today's specials are Salty Dumplings, $3, Toad in the Hole, $4, and Seaman Surprise, which is $5. I always wondered why it's in dollars, because this is a British game, so it should have been in pounds, but... Eh, what can you do? Rareware is, was an odd company. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to show you was, um, in the episode before last, at the very end, I said I'd show you, well, in the middle of it anyway, I said I'd show you the Get Jiggy thing once it was active. Uh, now, I was correct, it is in the Help and Options menu, uh, and it's right there, Jiggy Tips. Um, now, I'm not going to actually click on it, but it will list all ten Jiggies and sort of, you know, it has tips of where they are, you know, how to get them. Um, I'm not going to show it because that would spoil the world for people who haven't seen it yet. Um, also, I just ate, so, you know, if, if there's a couple of burps, you know, just uh, consider them uh, an added bonus of this episode. Uh, so, now with that stuff done, it's time to take a dive. Yeah, I just made that joke. So we're delving into this world. <laughs> wow, delving. Brilliant joke, Robbie. Well done. 10 out of fucking 10. Um, but yeah, so... Oh god, what the hell am I doing? So uh, these guys are... Ugh, the weird, throbbing, pulsating. So you hit them in the eye with an egg, and uh, a couple of these guys have some music notes inside, so we're just going to get these quickly before we move on. Um, there is another area we can go to um, that's not the main area that we're heading to now, but uh, I'm, I'd rather not head there just yet. Um, in fact, actually, this might be that area. I'm not sure. I've forgotten which path leads where in this game. I'm very confused. Now, we'll figure it out. Okay, this is that area. Um, there's something we can do in here, which is actually, uh, you see that see-through fish over there? Oh, he's just sort of panned out of view there. Well, oh, oh there he is. He's back in view now. Um, well, that, that fish there, you can see he's sort of got a Cheeto page in him. Um, we can't actually get that Cheeto page out of him quite yet. Uh, but that's the one thing we can sort of come back into that area for. So, we'll get it eventually. Um, I actually attempted... Uh, this video uh, about 20 minutes ago but like I was really really tired and lacked energy because I hadn't eaten so I was just like ah oh, fuck it I'll just restart I keep copies of my my save file anyway just in case anything goes wrong so uh, these giant octopuses you just sort of hit them with an ice egg and they freeze up for about like 20 seconds or something as you know I think it's 10 seconds um, but anyway here we are this is the main area of Jolly Rogers Lagoon, Atlantis. Well, the main part of the underwater area, anyway. Um, there's a Jiggy in that guy. We can't get that yet. Um, oh, God. What am I doing? I shouldn't be in first-person mode. Um, so, there's... I'm trying to remember exactly what it is that I need to do here uh, in what order. Because I haven't practiced this well, so I actually don't know where, where the hell I'm supposed to go. Um, I've got a vague idea, of course. That's from like years of playing this game, years of experience, uh, man oh man, I can't believe it. I haven't played Banjo 2 in a while actually, I've been really really preoccupied so I haven't had a chance, oh god, stop pressing the fucking, I keep thinking I'm playing Zelda, I've been playing Zelda a lot, and I, I, I'm used to pressing the Z button to get the camera back behind me, um, but I think that's actually the shoulder button, in fact let me just, I'm, I'm gonna try that right now actually, let me get up here first. Um, oh boy, okay, um, how can I, how can I get, there we go, oh wait, yeah, there we go, uh, wait, no, no, that's not right, um, 
Oh, huh. Okay. I was trying to figure out what the button is to make the camera go back behind Banjo, because there is a button, but I just don't know what it is. Okay, so this is sort of where you're supposed to come first in this world when you go underwater. You've got to come straight to here, because this, this is the main move for the underwater area. So, I'm not going to rhyme for this either. I'm not. I'm still, I'm still not fully woken up, so I'm not going to do any rhyming or anything here. You know, rhyme in time, rhyme in time and all that. Uh, also, no uh, stupid uh, diving into your head or onto his own head there. Wow, I'm not making much sense today. My English is a bit off. Um, I do love the underwater area of Jolly Rogers Lagoon, though. It's legitimately my favourite part of it because it's just huge. You've got this main sort of cavernous area, right? And I mean... I, t I don't know if you remember, but in Glitter Gulch Mine, I told you about the cave like thing and, and how much I love caves. Well, like this is another example of how much I like caves is, is this area because um, I've actually seen in real life caves like this that fill with water like this. Um, also, there's the, there's the button I'm supposed to press. So that's the move we actually just got there. You can get Kazooie off of you and, and like use her as a torpedo. So. Um, this is actually the room that was uh, advertised or, or teased in the pit painting for this world. Um, and you remember how I said when we did the painting that there's only one thing you can do in this room? Um, well, it's actually that. And you need a move from like, to, I think I think it's like world 8, I think, you get the move in. Um, so like way later in the game, basically, uh, to get that. So the fact that they tease this room in the painting is actually ridiculous. So, but it's cool I got to show that off though. Um, we may not make dick all for, for progress in this episode, but at least we're, like, having a good old time, you know what I mean? You know, having a good time, having a good time, I don't want to stop at all. Um, there is actually, um, we can go to Humble Wumba right now, but I, I'm not going to just yet because there's no point. Um, I think this area is probably where I want to go next, maybe. Oh, Jesus Oh, Jesus. Okay. There we go. Um, there's me ice. Um, there we go. I got him. We're good. Octopi. Octopiss. The octopiss uh, has, has been uh, frozen. I was frozen today. I don't remember what movie that was from. But I know it was Christopher Lloyd that said it. You know, the doc from Back to the Future. You know, Marty. Uh, oh fuck! What a camera, camera. Oh, Jesus Christ! I, I really need to get used to the, the way the camera works on this game because I, I just I've been playing too much Zelda. Um, okay, there's a Jinjo. Oh fuck! Can I, Kazooie? Kazoo, Kazoo! K oh my God, Kazoo! Okay, look. I d I've no idea what the hell is going on here. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking up. There we go. Jesus Christ. That wasn't that hard now, was it? Good Lord. Blah. Another black Jinjo is mine for the taking. Um, oh, wow. I'm trying to think of, like, things to talk about because, like, I lack any kind of decent commentary in this video so far it's never about the commentary though it's about having fun you know what i mean it's about just playing and, and enjoying yourself there we go i got him lucky shot um i got the warp pad at the ship anyway so we can go back there in a bit it's just i needed to get to this area quickly because we need the warp point in this area as well um there's two see-through dudes in this area. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> this is a pretty cool area, actually. This is the locker room. Um, so it's sort of a reference to Davy Jones' locker. And uh, and actually, right behind us is Davy Jones' locker. So uh, we're going to go back to the sunken ship because there was something I missed there. But, uh, wow. Hopefully, I'll get into this uh, today. And I'll, uh, I'll actually talk a little more in a little while. I was watching um, uh, Nintendo Capri Sun's Metroid 2 LP. Um, I actually just finished watching the whole LP um, a little a little bit ago, like an hour ago, 
Uh, and I'm going to move on to his Metroid 3 LP now, which he just started. Um, I, I actually bought the original Metroid games on the Wii U so I could play them for myself because I've never had the chance to actually play the Metroid games. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I, I started up Metroid 1, right? And um, I mean, it's it's quite hard to get into for the first time um, because obviously it's, it's not the kind of game I'm used to playing. But it's it is fun to play it's not like too difficult it's it's sort of um it, it's a trial and error you know you've got to just sort of play and, and and remember what you've run into so you don't die to it like when you inevitably die because i have like died multiple times while playing that game um i played it for about an hour and a half and then i moved on to super metroid because i wanted to try out the other metroid games um, I'm gonna get the Metroid Prime Trilogy pretty soon and give that a play. Uh, but this tunnel actually leads to the final Jinjo in uh, Glitter Gulch Mine. And, uh, and that's actually the final brown Jinjo as well, so we got a jiggy from that. Um, but yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Banjo, do not fall. I do not want to have to go all the way back around to fucking... Oh my god. Yeah, you can actually, you can go backwards, so, but yeah, that was the final Jinjo in, uh, in Glitter Gulch Mine, that's how you get that, so, good stuff, the way the worlds link up in this game, always, always, um, appeases my, my inner demons, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore, I'm so out of it, I'm so drugged up, I'm like, duh, what, what this, what this do? I don't know. Ah, uh, well. We can't actually do anything in Davy Jones' locker, so we're just going to sort of um, not use that warp pad for now. Um, or we're not going to go back to it for a while anyway. So, oh, for fuck's sake. Just move on to the pad and press B to warp. You don't say, Bottles. You don't say. God, I'm at 12 minutes already, and I've done sweet F all. Actually, that's... That's kind of a lie. I have done quite a bit. Um, there's a couple of places that we can actually go in and, and, and open. Um, but first, I need to stop that. I need to get Kazooie off of me because we need to... There we go. Um, where's the see-through dude? He's over there. Kazooie is very, very hard to control. There we go. All right. Once you can get Kazooie straight on, you're good. But there we go, that's that Jiggy, so we got that out of the way now. Um, I believe this wasn't the door we actually broke open. Oh, no, no, yeah, this is this is the door that's already open from when you first come in. So this is Seaweed Sanctum, so this is definitely the next area we need to go. Oh, man. Can I actually, like, get some good commentary going now at this point? I mean, good God, I've been so tired that I just haven't been able to come up with anything good to talk about. Um, so, I mean, I, I, like I said, I've been playing Metroid, which um, is, an, is an excellent game series, honestly. I, the fact I never got to play it is, is you know, you, you shouldn't really, like, diss me for never being able to play it, if you know what I mean, you know. If you think I'm terrible for never having played the Metroid games, because I've never played the Mega Man games either, and I'd love to play the Mega Man games. I probably will do, actually, at some point in the near future. I've just been focused on other stuff, um, you know, instead. <clears throat> uh, I mean, like, I've been playing Ocarina of Time, I've been playing Majora's Mask. Um, I bought Wind Waker HD yesterday, so I'll be playing that pretty soon. Um, not on YouTube, of course, but, like, I've never played Wind Waker before, so it'll be the first time I've gotten to play that game. Um, and it's Wind Waker HD as well, so it's the HD remake. I was chatting with my brother yesterday about how much I love the HD remakes of old video games. Um, and I was ha like, I, I was just sort of, I don't know, I'm, I'm upset because a lot of games companies seem to forget that, like, there are huge, vast lists of games that are absolutely beloved by tons of people that they just won't even attempt to put on newer consoles, you know, remaking them or whatever. Um... There we go, we got it. Um, and, you know, I'm just, I'm just upset at that because, like, I don't know, like, I, I kept talking to him about games like Conker's Bad Fur Day and stuff because, like, you know, honestly, I would love to see Conker's Bad Fur Day on, like, you know, a modern... Ah, fuck. Damn it. 
I missed. Alright, uh, fine. We'll take the opportunity. We'll go get this warp pad over here. Um, so we can get back here. But yeah, you know. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Fish is actually in front of me. Wow. Okay. Um, mind me a, a minute. Um, boom, you're dead. Boom, you're dead. And now we have to get around the other side of him. And there we go. Okay. Usually that takes me a lot longer to do that. Uh, oh, yeah, there we go. You go inside of his mouth, basically. <laughs> wow. Inside the big fish. We are in the big fish now. Oh, come here, you asshole. Um, but yeah, you know, back to the conversation. <laughs> wow. A little less conversation, a little more action. Or a little less action, a little more conversation, because I'm doing plenty of action. Um, but, you know, I'm upset that company... Oh, there's a lot of blood being chosen as well. I'm upset that companies won't um, bring games to newer consoles, you know. And I, I spoke to my brother about how, you know, I understand that it can be a little bit, like, expensive to port games over and, and put a lot of effort into, you know, um, especially... A lot of old Nintendo games were made by companies that are now owned by either Sony or Microsoft. So getting a lot of those old Nintendo games onto modern Nintendo consoles involves going through two other major gaming companies, pretty much. And I mean, like, Conker's Bad Fur Day was an example, because Conker's Bad Fur Day is rare, and rare is owned by Microsoft. So Nintendo would have to go through Microsoft in order to put Conker's Bad Fur Day on their, their eShop on the Wii U. And I said to my brother, you know, but... I mean, if they wanted to, right, they could, you know, obviously uh, raise the price on Conquest Bad Fur Day. You know, instead of paying a normal price of, of what they charge for an N64 game on there, they could charge double the price. They could charge like 15 quid, 16 quid for Conquest Bad Fur Day to make up for how expensive it would have been to get it off of Microsoft onto the eShop. But, like, I can guarantee that, like, there's tons of people out there that would have bought that, you know. So it's, um... Or that would buy that, you know, if, they, if Nintendo went ahead and did that. I suppose Nintendo are just too tight and it's too much effort for them. But, you know, it, it's still upsetting. There's plenty of games out there. My brother listed off a whole bunch of PS1 games he'd love to see on, like, the modern PlayStation. But they're not on there. Um, also, that always happens when you come out of the fish for some reason. I, he looks really thin there. Um, but there we go. Um, that was actually Jolly Roger's partner in there. I kind of didn't read any of the dialogue, but... Oh, also, I found this really cool when I first played the game. The teeth you knock out of the fish stay here. Like, forever. And I think that's really, really cool. Um, so we can actually uh, dive back through this area. Wow, diving. More, more diving jokes. We can actually go back through um, this area here. Uh, and there's an octopus in here. Um, there we go. I'm doing a bloody good job of this level so far. Um, we're at 18 minutes now, so I should probably stop, to be fair. I, I probably, I really should stop. Um, oh boy. This room, I, 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 I went silent for a second there because this room is just really, like, ugh, you don't even know. You'll find out eventually. Alright, so there we go. I'm done. That's it. That's enough of this for today. Sorry about the crappy commentary, but, you know, sometimes you record and you feel like playing, but you don't feel like talking. So, I mean, like, it's not often I feel like recording and talking, you know, at the same time. Like, I'm in the mood for both. Like, yeah, yeah, time to play and, and talk. Like, you know, I just don't feel like that all the time. So, but sometimes I do just really want to play. Like, I've wanted to play Banjo 2 e again for a while now. The last session I did was like two weeks ago. So, yeah, I just wanted to play for a bit. So, sorry about the crappy commentary, but that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Ooh.